M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. We're just looking at my ICOM 7100. We're connected to the RSBA1 software. I've noticed that if you go to DR mode, it will momentarily on the radio switch, but then it switches back. So it looks like if you want to use, like, you know, if you want to have digital contacts, you do need to just use it in the normal way. So I've noticed that I can use this software by clicking memory here. You get this software here, and I can program you know, operating frequency duplex zero, and I can put repeater one, repeater two. And it all works on receive, but I can't actually see that it works on transmit. The cool thing is though, it does give you these this sort of message box, uh, receive record, which is pretty good. If you turn it up. And you can double click stations and you get more information here. They are, they're speaking in a different language, but you, so there's the stations coming through. So I think it's pretty cool. On the radio, we just got DV set. I haven't really changed anything on the actual radio. Uh, just, but I have, I am using like, I'm selecting my memory and clicking entry here. And that adds it here. So we could add a new memory. So for example, we could go uh, seven, hopefully I'll get the frequency right. One oh 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 USB. And if we select it and click entry, it will find it on the radio as you just saw. And if we change frequency like so, uh, we're on just in band there uh, minimize here go to I think there's a memory right here somewhere hold it down now I hear a couple of beeps there and so there it appears on the radio let's do another one different band altogether Yeah, hold that down, and then there it is there, if we look on the memory, like so. And we can double click it, and if we want to go to that, say we're on 40 meters, so back to 40, like so. And then we click that memory and go enter, look, it changes the radio to 40 meters. I mean, I'm very, very new to this. As far as I can see though, DR mode to me doesn't really work. If I hit DR mode, it will put it on the radio and then it will set it on the screen. But when I TX, this is the problem I'm getting. No one's hearing me. So let's try it again. Um, well, it didn't actually stay on the radio, did it? If you, it briefly puts it on the radio. And maybe I can put it into the memory. If I go like so. Yeah, I've just put that in the memory. Uh, which seems to have gone in there. Then I didn't put that in, it put that in. Let's do it again. So minimize. Hit DR on the radio. And then hold down MW. Uh, did that do it? Maybe not. Because I've been entering some myself. So. If we go back to VFL, I'm sort of playing around here. VFO memory here. And it just flicked back. VFO memory. See that? DV. And it's flicking back. Well, I'm not telling it to flip back, but... Or we can just go like that, go to a memory channel and click enter, and it will do it. But when I TX, let's turn it up. There is someone there. When I TX, although it, it shows up, M0 FXB audio check, M0 FXB audio check. And I've done echo and it was just silent. So I'm showing up on the system, but I don't think anyone's hearing me. So just playing around, let me know if you've had any DV experience with using the RSBA1 software otherwise you know it works great if i'm just using hf 
I just go to 40 like so where is it line is about 7 megs turn the RF going down I can tune as normal the radio moves everything works so there you go I thought I'd show you you've got NR you've got noise blanker filters everything you need is here you can save memories RF power um, you know RF gain volume squelch everything you need is here so bye for now 73 thanks for watching my channel all the best